to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 1051 The Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning. Morning, Emily. Good morning, guys. Okay, so our Disney fans out there will know what movie that song is from. Hercules, I'm so excited about this. Hercules, the next Disney movie to get a live action remake treatment. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't wait. So it is actually my favorite of all the Disney movies. <laughs> I am obsessed. It came out in 1997. The muses are my favorite part. And when I saw that Disney was making a live action remake, my heart just fell. And I think it's a terrible idea. No, because. Really? Yes, because if you think back to some of the live actions that they've made, I feel like they make them a little bit more boring. Like even with Mulan, they got rid of Mushu. And my fear is that when they do the live action of the Hercules, they're going to get rid of the muses. And the next thing you know, we're going to have something like that terrible show from the 90s with Kevin Zorbo with a, with a sword running around. That is oh. not my jam at all. Yeah, yeah, I hope. Oh, I don't know. But the muses, I mean, that's like the best music from the from the movie. That's the best soundtrack of all time for a Disney it movie. Is, I don't care what so anybody good. says. No, 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 no. Don't even go down that rabbit hole. Aladdin and Lion King are far superior to Hercules when it oh, comes to soundtracks. I don't know. But, see, I, I, I am the oddity here because I didn't really care for Hercules the cartoon. So this, for me, is exciting because it gives it a second chance at, at breathing some new life into it. Right. I feel like I'm in the middle of this Venn diagram. I loved the cartoon movie <laughs> and I'm excited for a remake. I do feel like this is Disney's chance at redemption. Maybe they've learned a thing or two, you know, from some of the live actions and how they were received and, and they can find a, a happy medium here. I mean, there's no way the soundtrack's going to be able to top it, though. Do you remember Michael Bolton, Go the Distance? I know. It's, I do, because I got the fifth grade solo for it that year. Did that you? Came out. <gasps> that is... <laughs> like, oh. I love that movie. I love it so much. I learned all the muses' names. You've got Calliope, Terpsichore, Paul Hymnia. Like, I am so afraid that they're going to go in there and just be like... Let's just make it boring. Let's make it serious. And it'll just be like The Lion King. Remember how bad it was when they made Seth Rogen Pumbaa? Like, <laughs> please don't do that to my favorite I, movie. I liked The Lion King. I felt like it was a little, it, it did take some of the Disney magic away because it was like so lifelike, you know? Yeah. And with yeah. Hercules, you've got these like mythical beasts and monsters. You have to still have some kind of Disney-esque yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I we'll, mean, we'll see. Disney's done a lot right, but they've also charged like $10 for a churro in their park. So we know <laughs> they make questionable decisions from time to time. So who do you think would play Herc? Who's going to be Hercules? Chris Evans, maybe? No, maybe younger. Maybe Liam. Maybe we can bring in the other Hemsworth brother. Oh. He hasn't had much to do since the Hunger Games. I feel like um, I could even see it being, uh, who's who's the Spider-Man now? What's his name? Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Yeah. I feel like somebody I just, younger. I feel like, yeah, he's got the look. He, he's got the body and everything. But I feel like he's just too small in stature. You need one of those Aussie guys that's like 6'4". <laughs> one of the Hemsworth brothers will do. Yeah. They make Tom Cruise look tall in movies, though, so they could probably do the they same thing. They could do it. They Fair could point. do it. We should, make, uh, we should make Chris Evans Zeus. Okay. All right. Chris I, Evans that. I feel anything, like that would be a right. casting decision that I would be okay with. Um, speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of Chris Evans, I just, I just want Chris Evans in more movies. Um, but he was talking about what he says is the best decision he's ever made. He wasn't talking about taking a movie role. What is he so proud of? He's talking about adopting his dog. So Aww. he has a dog, and he said he never thought that he would get one, and his name is Dodger, and it's an older dog. He didn't adopt a puppy, and that it's been such a great experience with his dog because with an older dog, you've got to kind of earn their trust and their love. And I think it's so huge because he is always posting Instagram stories of him hanging out with this dog. But so many people, when they are going to rescue shelters and different things, they always want a puppy, a puppy, a puppy. And I think it's cool that he's like putting out there, hey, older dogs are also a nice option because mm -hmm. they usually are the ones that get left behind at the shelters. Right. No, that's great. I mean, as if we needed another reason to love him. He's the best Chris. He's, he's number one Chris. He's America's favorite. I... Uh, and he just did a 10-minute interview surrounded by puppy dogs. I don't know what more we could ask for. I had yeah. afternoon plans watching that video on a loop all day. I know. I know. <laughs> he did the BuzzFeed puppy interview. I was very excited to see that as well.
He's he's yeah. my favorite. He's number one Chris in my heart. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's everybody's favorite Chris at this point. We're like, how can you get any better? I would Plus, agree. Plus, puppies are a lot of work. At least with an older dog, you know, you get what you get. Yeah. Yep, puppies, dogs. Yeah. He's he's pulled so far into the lead of America's Best Chris. Uh, yeah, he's he's number one by a long shot now. All right, thank you. And let's guys. not forget he's from Boston. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I had to throw that the in Boston there. connection. You had to. Thanks, Liz and Mike. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye, friends. Take right. care. Don't forget, you can catch more fun every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.